Hello everybody, so today we will uh, start a masterclass. I will show you how to print a model. So we're gonna use the Dentic and first I will show you how to use our nesting software Alpha 3D. First we open the Alpha 3D software. So this is Alpha 3D, our nesting software. So first we will check the setting. So as you can see, the printer is dentic and the resin is core model. If you need to change, you can go to printing setup. What we recommend for model is 100 microns because it's fast enough and the accuracy is good. First, I will open my STL file. The first thing I will check is the layout. If the layout is not good, it will become blue. We want the model inside the building area. Here it's inside the building area, so it becomes yellow. Second, we check the orientation. So for model, what we want is the base here to face the bid platform. We don't want the teeth to face the bit platform to make sure we don't damage it. Second thing, we don't need support because it's a full base, it's not a hollow. This is an example with a hollow. If this is a hollow model, as you can see, this part is hollow. So if we print it directly on the bead platform, the air will be trapped and because of the difference of the pressure between the outside and the inside, it will cause some hole. So there is two solutions if you have a hollow model. First one, you can change the design of your STL file and add a whip hole like this. Second one, you can keep, so change the orientation. and add some support. So for support, we'll change the application. So here we have a solid model, so we choose solid model. We you can use auto support, it will directly add the support. But if you want to be more accurate, you can also use manual support. So you can add all the support around your model here. So if we want to use auto support, just have to click it here. Okay, so now we know how to print a hollow model. So for this example, we use a solid model like this. So I'm sure now the layout is good, the orientation is good, and the support is good because we don't need any support. So now I can just start saving my model. And we can start the slicing. So now I have two files. The first file is a project file. We call it the i3dp because the format is i3dp. So this file is a file I will use to, if I need to change the orientation, the support in my uh, alpha 3d software. And the printing file, so this one is a file, we, is a, the format is IVF, is a file I will use for, uh, to print my model. So I can use it to print it remotely or directly in the printer with a USB drive. So today we will print remotely. So the first thing you want to check if you print remotely is to see if your Wi-Fi with your laptop and your Dentic is the same. Second, we want to know the IP address of your printer. 
So for this, I will click on printer list. Then I will click on scan. This will scan all the printer using the same Wi-Fi as me. Okay, so I know my printer is this one. So here I have the IP address. So today we will print a model. So to print a model, we will use the resin Chrome model. Before printing, there is an important step is to shake the resin. So make sure you shake it properly. So we recommend to do it like one minute minimum. So we will print remotely. So now we know the IP address. So you can just type it on your browser like this. So if you remember, this is the IP address. Okay, so it will, uh, it will arrive in this dashboard. So you can go to print, then files, then choose printer, click on it. Then you can choose the IBF we created just before. So it will upload the IBF file or the print file. Then you can choose your file next. It will give you an estimated time, so one hour and 40 minutes, and then you can print. So now our print is done. So we can remove the bitpass form and start the post processing. So first we will use Cleany. So we will wash the bit platform. Then we will use Accurate Oven to do the post curing. Okay, so first I will remove the bit platform and use Cleany. So we'll uh, use the two uh, tanks. So first I will use this tank. And we set up three minutes will be enough. Okay, so now we finish washing the samples, so we can take it off. So we just can use a knife. So very easy to remove. And then now we can blow it to make sure there is no alcohol anymore. Now we start the post curing. So we use the accurate oven. So for the cool model and with accurate oven, you can first set up two minutes on the bottom side and then four minutes on the top side. All this information, you can find it in our website in the material page. So you just have to click, for example, on cool model. And for every kind of oven, you have the information for the time. So you just first or you just okay. So now we will uh, flip the motor and we set up four minutes. Now you have your modern.